All right, and walking around the side of the trailer, we have one of the features I always wanted in a trailer, a ramp door. Check this out. Oh my, there's a car inside. <laughs> Come on out. Keep on coming. Wow, look at that. How great is that? A RAV4 fits in the new trailer. That's crazy. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's a car trailer for miniature cars. <laughs> Yay! Welcome back to Invest and Play. And today in the garage, we have our brand new trailer. This is an interstate trailer. It is a load runner, which is their middle grade trailer. We have named it the Battle Wagon, towed by the White Knight. <laughs> and this trailer we've got specifically so we don't have to use our little car as a pickup truck anymore. And the idea is going to be to build shelving on rolling shelving that we can roll in and out of the trailer with all of our different tools and equipment that we use for working on house projects and it'll allow us to move stuff with it just the other day we used it to pick up a used refrigerator for a rental house and we were able to uh, fit it standing up because this is an extra tall version of this trailer so this is an extra one foot higher than their typical high trailer which interstate trailers are typically higher than or taller than most uh, trailers so the interior height on this is about seven and a half foot which is amazing for storage and just room so this trailer uh, we bought brand new and we actually bought it on our way back to the house after doing all the modifications on the truck and the uh, trailer itself is a double axle trailer it's each axle is a 3500 pound load rating so total gross vehicle weight rating is 7,000 pounds. Uh, the trailer weighs in about 2,300 pounds, so it gives us a capacity of about 40, what, 700 pounds? Yeah, roughly, yeah. About 4,700 of carrying capacity, which is more than enough for what we're gonna use it for. I know a lot of contractors that carry heavy stuff get the 10,000 pound version of this trailer, but it's just not necessary for us. It does have trailer brakes on it, which is great for slowing down. When it's empty, it's almost too much braking power. We had to adjust the brake controller down a lot to keep the tires from uh, skidding. <laughs> so uh, it has a breakaway controller as well. So over here, if you uh, um, have the trailer come loose, it has a little pull cord and it pulls that and engages the brakes automatically. It has a manual uh, jack for lifting off of the hitch there. Um, this is the middle grade of this version of the trailer from Interstate. So it has the diamond plating. Not a huge fan of it, might paint it black just to kind of blend in. Uh, this one also comes with the black wheels. These wheels, unlike a lot of the cheaper cargo trailers, are actually a radial tire instead of uh, a bias ply tire which is kind of nice and come around here we'll show you the inside and the other side here so this has a ramp door which is something i always wanted was a ramp door with a cargo trailer um, it's got cables and a torsion bar so it basically is weighted essentially for the weight of the door. So it almost takes no effort to open and close it. On each side, there's two different locking latches. And then we have locks for each of these that are all keyed the same. So it's a little easier to open. Pulling it down, this door is uh, rated for a 3,000 pound load on the ramp. So. You saw when we pulled the car in, it's actually less than 3,000 pounds, so there's no issues whatsoever. And when you're doing heavy loads on the back of it, you can deploy these 
jacks that come down to give it some stability. On the inside, it has a spare tire, which we might mount on the outside or underneath of it. We'll see. We also might uh, do spring over conversion on it to get it uh, a lot higher. So once the truck in the rear gets lifted, we might lift the whole trailer and just give the whole thing a little bit more clearance. Inside it has these tie down points, which are kind of handy. Um, it also has a couple cord tie down clips that we give you. So not a lot, you know, from the factory as far as attachment points, but the key with this trailer over a lot of the trailers out there is that this one has structurally a lot better uh, construction. So the, the studs that come down on the wall are at 16 inch spacing instead of a lot of trailers are at 24 inch on center spacing. It also, the uh, channeling is, is uh, a lot thicker and it's um, kind of a U-shaped channel versus a lot of them just do a Z channel and uh, it's just more structurally sound. So we'll be using that to attach some more anchor points. So when we have our rolling shelving, we'll have them just probably uh, attach the walls with some attachment points and then we can detach it, roll them out and then have the whole trailer available to use for moving stuff or just hauling odds and ends of various weird sizes. The last cargo trailer I had was a uh, six by 10, which was a fine trailer as a single axle, no trailer brakes, but um, with the shelving built into it, it really limited what you could use it for as far as utility wise, carrying anything else in it. It really kind of made it a uh, single focus storage moving stuff. And with this one, it's a bit wider because it's a seven foot wide trailer and it's a bit longer, it's 14 foot long. So with that, we figured it's gonna have a lot more kind of universal um, application if we keep it easily convertible into, you know, open space um, and various different uh, configurations. So the idea here is probably to build racks that are around uh, two to three foot in length so they're not overly difficult to maneuver around and then each rack will contain specific different things for different types of projects, you know, so cleaning or woodworking or whatever like that. Might even put a, a small cart in here for like a table saw that we can roll out and have it really easily accessible. So let's take a look at the other side. That we have another door. This is just a standard man door. It's got another lock, same as the mechanism in the back and gives us side access in. So in a lot of locations, we'll be backing it into a driveway and there won't necessarily be room to deploy the ramp door. And this will just give really easy access in uh, for grabbing quick stuff or if we go to the store and need to uh, throw some material in there, we can do it that way. So it's kind of a nice uh, option for it. Um, one of the things that makes these trailers also a little bit unique from a lot of them is that their hinges here, if you want to come take a look, are actually welded on. So a lot of them are just screwed in and they're very flimsy hinges. Th this hinge is, is pretty substantial. It also has a little lock to keep the door open. But I mean, it's enough that you can, ah, you can hang on it. <laughs> so it's a much more substantially built trailer. So this is gonna be a pretty fun, uh, trailer for us to uh, put to use. We've already used it a little bit on this last rental project and we're going to be building it all out here this fall uh, when we have some more time with the different racks and storage areas and whatnot and we'll see. It's the biggest trailer I've had and it's uh, it's definitely I wouldn't want anything longer than it. You know with 14 foot interior space the overall length on it's probably right around 17 foot. So between the trailer and the truck, we're just under 40 foot total length, which is, uh, you know, two parking spaces. I definitely wouldn't want it any more than that just for uh, functionality of, of driving around and, and parking and whatnot. Um, the trailer also isn't the widest trailer. Uh, the wider trailers, you'll see the car trailers typically are 
uh, come up and enclose the entire wheel well area. And those are eight and a half foot wide. So this being seven foot wide, uh, the tires stick out on the outside. So it's still a lot of trailer on narrow roads and whatnot. You have to watch, you know, these back wheels because they're, you know, pretty wide on a narrow road. And a lot of times you won't have more than maybe six inches, you know, before you hit the line on either side. So it's, it's a little bit different to, to drive it on some of those type of roads. But overall, I think it's a good balance of, you know, functional, usable space um, with kind of not being too huge and obnoxious to try to live with and drive and park. And for now, we're going to be parking it in the garage because uh, we got space for it. So that'll be nice to keep it kind of out of the weather and whatnot. Um, long term, it may not end up being in the garage, but we'll see. So this is our battle wagon trailer to be towed by the white knight when we go in to conquer rental houses and other projects <laughs> if you guys have any thoughts or comments or ideas for this trailer be sure to mention that i'd love to hear any things that you guys found that worked well with this style of trailer and any cautions you might have otherwise we appreciate you watching and be sure to uh Give us a like and subscribe if it's of interest and we'll be keeping you posted with upcoming projects. Our upcoming big news is our new camper, which we are planning to pick up next week. So we'll share a little intro video of the camper when we got it and uh, see what you guys think. See what we think. <laughs> Thanks for watching. So what do you like about this trailer? I can fit the RAV4 in it. What is not to like about it? We can take it everywhere. So why did we get a trailer? We got a trailer for our projects because we've been using our little Sherby over there as a pickup truck before we bought the new pickup truck. And we were kind of pushing its limits by shoving ladders in it all the time. So the new truck car trailer is awesome because you can fit a fridge standing up in there. It's pretty awesome. We did it just the other day. So it's going to be amazing for our projects. Sweet. <laughs>